Today we're doing a bloom transfer and as you can see here I have some of my colors, my pigments laid out and these are actually May Spring and they may look sort of muted for me but don't you worry I have some pops of color to go with these colors. I'm just laying them out. I'm trying out some packets here. I have been using this peach gold and you may have seen me use it. I really like this peach gold. It's pretty awesome. And I'm trying some other colors too. As you can see here today, we're going to be using royal gold, white pearl, olive gold, the peach gold of course, and mermaid dust. So they look muted, but while these are from May Spring, I also have two primary element colors. One of them is this one. It's a rust color, so it should look pretty good with this. It is Copper Penny. So I do have my metallic in there with Copper Penny. And from Color Arts Primary Elements, I have Wine and Roses. And yes, it is purple. You might have thought, no, I'm not gonna use any purple, but I do have a purple hue here in Wine and Roses. Okay, so those are the colors I'm going to use. And I'll move these out of the way. I'm always trying to find new pigments. I love Color Arts pigments, but I am always trying to find some other ones. The only complaint I have with May Spring is sometimes the pigments settle out. So if you don't use them for a couple of days, the pigments settle to the bottom and you have to really mix them, which I don't like to do because it causes a lot of bubbles. And so all of mine are going to have bubbles today, but that's fine. We're going to use these. You may notice that I have two boards here today. Uh, I have a wood round and this one is going to be for my bloom that I'm going to make and then this is going to be for my transfer. Now I got some of these rounds and they're wood rounds but they are not flat so I'm just going to use this as my canvas for my bloom. This one is 8x8 and this is what we're going to use as our primary but I'm going to go ahead and put this one on here first as I'm going to lay down my bloom. I'm going to lay down my pillow. This pillow is Diamond Bright Semi Gloss in Bright White and all of my pigments are mixed with Bare 8300 and Joe Sonia varnish. Okay. All the details for the colors are in the description box below. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my bloom done. I'm actually made to, I might do two different colored blooms. I may leave room for two. going to spend a lot of time with these because I'm not worried about the composition. I'm just worried about getting down my blooms. And the first one, I think I'll start with Wine and Roses. I want to see what the color difference is when you change the color order. So I'm going to put my bright colors first. I've never used this one before. This ought to be interesting. Maybe I should have saved it. It's kind of, it's kind of a murky color. <laughs> but this is supposed to be olive gold. And then I'm going to add the blue. Mermaid dust. I love the names of these pigments. And this is not my abalone shell. This is actually just a pearl white this time. And there's my gold. always make these huge puddles. This is my cell activator. It's Oxide Black from Amsterdam and Payne's Gray, and it's mixed in the well-educated artist mixture. So we're gonna see how that goes today. Let me grab something to get this out with. It's not too thick. It looks okay. Let me get my hair out of the way. Pretty. I might have to use this again. The, the well-educated artist cell activator is really working well here. I guess I could have blown a little bit more. Blow it a little bit. It's actually a very pretty color combination. Look at that bloom. 
that's actually a pretty awesome bloom. It makes me go, do I really want to tear this apart? But I'm gonna have to because, because I said I was going to and because it's not really on the best kind of base. So I'm gonna go ahead. That's a very wobbly piece of wood there. So I will go ahead and tear it apart and hopefully my transfer will look really great. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna try a different color set over here. I'm gonna kind of go with a different combination. I'm gonna go backwards from what I did last time just to see what happens. And I'm just going to use the same cell activator. If you want to learn to make my cell activator, I do have a video out for that. It is a lot cheaper than Australian Floetrol and it works really, really well, generally speaking. So, let's go ahead and do this. And I may just blow this direction this time. Let's see, I don't want to interfere with the bloom that I have. So this one has a total different color combo. I really like the wine and roses on the back end of that. I may make some more, but let's see. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this off. This is my pillow for this one. It's the exact same paint. It's the Diamond Bright White. I always feel like I'm icing a cake here. We'll just spread that out. I always feel bad torching house paint because I just know it's toxic to sit there and torch it like that. But you know, what you do for your art. Now, okay. So let's go ahead and get this. This is like your artist's palette here, and you can see it's wanting to run, and normally it would be able to expand. Uh, I don't want this coming over on top of me. I'll let it run just a little bit. I'm going to add just a little around the outside, just because I like to see the fractals that develop, but I also don't want it running down my arm over here the way I'm holding it, so, okay. Normally, what I will do, and I'm just gonna start over here, is I will just bring my palette knife and lean it a little bit over and get it up like that. And there are going to be no cells in this one, but I will do that and that's how I will pick it up. And this one, I'm just going to go ahead and do just like that. That's actually kind of neat. Okay, I'm going to be using my plastic and this is scary to me. I am just going, getting a lot of white. And all this is is a lid, and I don't know how well this is going to work, but with it very, very slowly come off. I don't know if I like that. So this is just going to be an experiment on using different things. I do like to use my bigger palette knife. I have more control with it and I'm able to really save my cells. Maybe, uh-oh, just dropped some, that's okay.
never fail when you have something that you don't like, just get rid of it. Goodbye. And we can just replace that white. I'm just gonna take this back, it's still dirty and that's not a big deal. And you'll see me, I am just thinking about what I want to do, to how much space, how much white space I want to leave. take some of this pretty gold and I'm going to add it to my painting. I want to do something thin. Yeah, I like that. Love that gold. I just like the pretty colors on the palette knife. I'm not gonna do a lot of modification, but I am gonna be doing some. You're really seeing how the paint is spreading. Let's see. Okay, what I am noticing is quite a few pops. So you can see where there were bubbles and there's some pops. So I'm gonna go back in and I am going to do some highlighting with some of my pigments and try to get rid of some of these pops because there are quite a few of those. I fiddled with it just a little bit more. I had so many little bubbles that I had to minimize them and I just had to add a little bit more detail 
It's very botanical in nature, but it turned out pretty good. I'm okay with it. Sometimes you never know what you're going to get when you do a bloom transfer. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, bye now.